You know you've still got a bed left in my room. Do I? Yeah, you, I'm you brought come. a bed. Oh, you! I heard a door open. Uh, <laughs> you coming to use the bed? <laughs> coming. Sleepover. Hi. <laughs> you weren't. You weren't invited, Squid. You weren't. Inv you can't just show up like this. Well, because it's a bed here doesn't mean are, we're used. holding hands. So, like, technically, this is my house too. So, pfft, yeah, that can be changed. Isn't it a bit sad that you never go under the covers in Minecraft? You only ever lie on top of it with all your armor on. <laughs> it must be like really warm, sad? like constantly in Minecraft. They need to change that. They do need to change that. Yeah, I, I want to. I want to like hold left trigger to tuck Squid Nugget in button. You know, kiss good night button. I want to see you all, all cuddled up. Kiss kiss. Good. <laughs> Read bedtime story button. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Anyway. <clears throat> Hello, this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video in Squid and my quest to tuck people into bed! Yay! So we just, like, stay here until night time, and then we can just, you know, fulfill the quest episode. Just tuck yes, people yes. in. Yes, let's, let, 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 let's wait. Night time yet? Night is it night time yet? Um, I, I think the sun's still rising. Squid. Tim, uh, why don't we just come back? At yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. We could have a go. Yeah, okay. that that makes a lot more sense. After All right then, let's go and um, after you. No, after uh, no, you. I squid, I insist. insist. Oh, no. Right. Okay. I like I like that fun little challenge in the morning to not get <laughs> shot by an arrow. <laughs> Imagine if that the was real life. That would be a horrible, horrible challenge. Yeah. It's only a fun challenge in Minecraft. Yeah. It's not in real life. But you go down to, go to try to and get your cornflakes and you, in the morning. You don't know if you're going to get shot. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right. flush. Whee! Oh, no. Is it left on a right, left, right? Ooh. I think it's left. I think I, I've committed to going left, and I think I've been okay. <laughs> Booch. Let's smooch. Nah. There we go. Mwah. Right then. The time to pretty Queen much what these videos fine. have become. <laughs> the, the reason why anyone watches these. The ice cream parlor. I know I forgot you fixed this. Kinda. Just, there we go. <laughs> each, each day you're going to add a little bit more until yeah. it's finally finished. It's like an advent <laughs> calendar, but instead of removing things, I'm adding things. By Christmas, right. it might be done. Ice cream parlor time, Squid. Now, ice cream parlor time. You need a book and a quill. So I'm going to oh, throw that to you not here. School stuff, is it? No, no, it's good. This is good. So uh, I've told Squid Nugget to have a, a keyboard at hand, and I got one as well. And the reason for that is because we are doing a book-themed ice cream parlor. And the reason for that is I have a book coming out in uh, in 10 days uh, called oh. Stampy's Lovely Book, which I'm very excited about and want to tell you about. And uh, yeah, so I thought, uh, why not uh, write our own books in the ice cream parlor? But don't worry. Don't panic. We're not just going to be sitting there writing books. The plan is, and I think this is going to be fun, is we're going to write half a book each. So we're writing one book, but you're going to do one half and I'm going to do another half. Okay. And then we read through the book and we have to act it out in the ice cream parlor. But we're not going to know what the other person's going to, to write. So would you rather go first or second? Um... Mm. I don't know. Um, it's not that big of a decision, Squid. It Literally is, makes it's no a terrible difference. Decision. I'll, go, I'll go second. You go first. Okay, okay. So I'm going to end my uh, first half by saying, and then suddenly. Okay? So you need to carry on. You need to carry on that sentence into your one. So you need to make something suddenly happen, basically. Okay. Okay? Does, yeah. does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. <clears throat> right, okay, so we, we need to write books now. So don't worry, uh, we're going to speed up the, the video uh, until the, the books are written, uh, but we're not allowed to tell each other what we're writing. Okay.
Right, I have finished Squid. Have you done your book? Finished. Finished. Okay, teacher. so don't read it yet, but we need to switch books. Okay, so you're going to be reading mine and I'm going to be reading yours. So there we go. That's my one. There's and mine. And then here's your one here. What have you called it? What, what does it say? What a nice cat by <laughs> I Slippery Fellow. <laughs> oh, what, did you, what did you call yours? Part I just one. It part one. That's not a part title one. of a book. Part one. <laughs> I thought you were going to call yours part two. Go to the library. <laughs> Let's read part one. Do you have any edit? Do you have a part one in stock? I'd like to read part one. <laughs> I've already read I read part two, but I didn't understand it. <laughs> oh, right, so, good. so so because I'm doing the so I guess you you're you behind you're behind the counter, and then you just need to read that, seeing as it's part one, and then we just need to act out whatever it says uh, until we get to the end suddenly. And I think to change page, you press right bumper or the arrow. I'm okay. not sure, <clears throat> but yeah, let's do it. Mm-hmm. Once upon a time, Stampy went into an ice cream parlor. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> he tried anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he tried but failed miserably. <laughs> he said hello to Squid. Hello to Squid. Squid burst into tears. <laughs> uh, uh, Stampy asked him what was wrong. What was wrong? <laughs> it's Squid really weird the way you're just standing there that motionless. He's scared of trumpets. Stumpy, I'm scared of trumpets. <laughs> oh no, that's awful. Stumpy what a took a to trumpet of. out of the chest and threw it into the frying pan. Right, don't worry, Squid Nugget. I'll get rid of this horrible trumpet and then you'll be safe. I'm running to the frying pan and there we go. I've melted the trumpet in the frying pan. My hero. Squid cheered, then began to hula dance. Then suddenly... Hula! Ah! Yeah, 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 the frying pan's gone. Woohoo! Yeah. Stampy came in... Oh, sorry, I'm still outside. <laughs> <laughs> Stampy came into the parlour and told me <laughs> how beautiful I looked. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Squid Nugget. Yeah. You don't look beautiful at all today. Ah. Yeah. If I was to describe how beautiful you looked, I'd say zero out of a scale of one to ten. Um, he also gave me his diamond boots uh, because he's a good friend. But you know what? I've got something that will make you look prettier. Because you okay. look so awful, yeah. why don't you have my diamond boots? Ooh, because I'm oh, a good friend. Thank I'm a you. good friend. Thanks. Oh, I look fabulous now. And tell you what, yeah. why don't I... Oh, sorry. Also, he offered to look after the shop while I got my slippery tentacles polished at the <laughs> local spa. Oh! What a nice cat. Squid! Yeah? Squid! Squid! <laughs> Your tentacles! But they look on. awful! You need to get oh, them treated! I've been working so hard behind the shop. Done. Yeah. I've some hours suckers, in there. suckers, they're all raw. Yeah. Like, why don't you yeah. take take my clothes, go to the spa, make yourself look better. I'll take over oh, from here, because no, I already look that. beautiful. You don't have to There's do no that, need mate. for me to go to the spa. I'm such a good friend. Oh, you go ahead, thanks. and I'll stay here and eat the ice. I mean, look after the ice you're cream. You're a star. You're a, you're a star, mate. Thanks a lot, okay? I'll see you in a few sorry, hours. Oh, sorry, sorry, sir. Ow. Right, bye. <laughs> bye. And the conclusion of the story was what a nice cat. Aww. Ah. End of story. <laughs> that worked even better than I thought it would. <laughs> that was good. That was right. So, um, yeah. And uh, so I do have a, a real book, which is hopefully better than that one, <laughs> which is coming Whoa. out on the, the 22nd Whoa. of October. And uh, yeah, and it's full of games and quizzes. And you're in it, Squid. You're in the book. Did Am you know I? that? Am I? Yeah, it, you are. There's my slippery tentacles in the book. You are. There's a little little fact about. There's little facts about you. And there's um. It says like, like has like my friends and what they're most likely to say. And do do you remember what yours says? Um, what are you most likely to say? Uh, if you were, if someone, if if uh, if you were being attacked by a googly. Uh, <laughs> uh, ah! Something like that. Ring a bell. <laughs> and and you were going to attack back. What what move would you use? I would use the poop attack. You would use the poop. I was just so excited that I got the phrase poop attack into my book. That was, a, <laughs> that was an, an exciting thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you did want to find out any uh, more about it, there'll be a link in the, the description. But Squid, tell Squid. us more. I want to know more. No, well, no, no. Have you seen? Look up. Look at the sun. You can't because it's night. We can try and tuck each other in. Um, ah! tell, come, come, you you come like lie down here. Yeah. Lie down here. I'm gonna. 
Um, there we go. I got some wool here. This is perfect. Yeah, you lie down there, yep. and I'll, I'll I'll tuck you in. Okay, just stay. There we go. No, no, wait, wait. <laughs> I'll write you a bedtime story. Give me another book. Are you gonna write me? Okay, right. Um, can you? Oh, you can't rewrite the same ones. No. Need another book and quill. I need another one. Quick. Yeah. Uh, you, you can just make. You can just make one up. You just make one up. You make up. A, <clears throat> make up a bedtime story, <laughs> quick nugget. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a fluffy cat called Stampy. No. He was yellow and fluffy, but one day he got too fluffy <laughs> that he couldn't get out of his house. But never oh, no. mind. Stampy had a good friend called Squid, who also Yay! used to be a barber. So he offered to of course, shave yeah. Stampy. So he could get Bastard. out of the house. Oh, that's very nice of him. Squid came over, shaved Stampy, uh, made a wig for one of his friends, and uh, Stampy could get out of the house and uh, happily ever after. Oh, no! yay! Again, tell me the story again, Squid. Um, No, that's it for now. Bedtime, mate. <laughs> oh, no, your, your turn, your yep. turn. Get... <laughs> <laughs> Look how cozy you are! Oh, <laughs> I just pulled. I just pulled my microphone out. I got excited, time, lifted my head up, stamping. so you can all hear me. But Squid can't. One second. One second. Squid. Squid. Yeah. Squid, can you hear me? So I got excited and pulled my microphone out. <laughs> <laughs> I got too excited about seeing you all cozy. <laughs> right, I'm gonna tell you a story, Squid. I'll tell you a story. Kit. Once upon a time, there was a squid nugget, and his tentacles were too big, and he couldn't get out the house. Oh no! But luckily. Luckily, his friend Stampy Cat, yeah. um, who had a shrink ray, he Whoa. came round and he shrunk all of Squid Nugget's tentacles, and so Squid Nugget could get out of the, the house. And then he slipped uh, down the road and went into a drain and made friends uh, with some rats that lived down there. And he made a um, a, a troop of ninja, ninja rats and squids. Whoa. And then they saved, then they, they they saved the world from all of the baddies. Whoa. End of story. Then they all lived happily ever after. See? See how good of a story it was, a bedtime story? He's falling asleep already. <laughs> it looks so good, this little bed like this. Oh dear, there oh. we go. Mm. All tucked in nicely. That was bed. nice. That was a nice little power nap. It's a good story, <laughs> mate. Are we, are we going to do anything? Let's, 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 let's start I think we should convert project. our house to these. I really do. I think what? this is the future. What, they're, they're just these compact just this. houses? This is amazing. Portable. Then you just pick, put them in your pocket. And then move to another place, put it back down, and then carry on again. Yeah. That's all you need, isn't it? That is That's all brilliant. you need. That is amazing. Instead of lugging all this stuff around. I really want to do, because last episode we didn't do very much either, Squid. And I feel well, like... Well, it's looking that I, way as well, mate, on this episode. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel like progress has been pretty pretty much halted on, on, on How everything. How about we start coming up with another um, ice cream for next episode, an ice cream parlour? Well, well, I wouldn't mind doing the the uh, the um the the skin one again. We did that last ah, week, didn't we? That, that was that, that was fun. quite a fun one. I tell you well, what, how about we, have a, we have a brainstorming session and try and decide the next thing we're going to build because we don't even know what we're going to do yet for this. Okay. For the the because this is the big project we're building our wall. Oh! <laughs> Ooh. Oh. That gate is in the worst place. Squid, run to me! Squid, run to me! <laughs> <laughs> I it goes like straight down as well. If you hit it right, it's like I know. I, I nearly did, and I have in the past. Right, let's go look at the ideas, Bob. Let's see if we can uh, add any new ideas and at least know what we're doing. So, watery Ooh, ghost what about watery train. Ghost train? That's, that's amazing. Oh, I like. I we like should, the sound of that. That's what we should I make Nelly boom trunk into a ghost train. Yeah, Nelly Boom Tuck isn't scary. She is. <laughs> Depends what day it is. <laughs> okay, she, she is a little yeah. When you see her in the morning, Monday yeah. mornings, but she hasn't got a head. No, don't get close to her. No, I, I think we need to plan it from from the from the beginning. Come up with a new idea. So, what's a scary like watery animal? Oh, sorry, Squid. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> so the, sorry. I'm not the mob here. I'm not the enemy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm your friend. No, no, let's go to sleep as well. Are there, are there beds? Here we go. Here's here's some beds here. We can go How to. How about we can go to sleep? A goldfish. A scare. An evil goldfish. Yeah. An evil like, goldfish. Instead of like, I'm trying to think. Instead of like Goldie Locks, it could be like Goldie. Goldie evil fish, fish and the three sharks. Goldie fish and the friend. We tell the story of Goldie fish and the free shark, <laughs> where where the, the the goldfish would sneak Ooh, into the, about, the shark's house. How about we flip this round and think about from a fisher's perspective? How about we do like fishermen? 
Oh. Oh, they're, they're the they're the evil things. Yeah, like a ah. ghost boat. So, like so a you're butt. sailing, you're swimming along in like a big tube, and then suddenly like a fishing rod flings out, and you're like, ah, it's with a, a, with it's a worm a on it. Rod. And we can do like a worm face. Yeah, with a worm on it. Yeah. Right. Okay. I like this. So, so what's it gonna look like from the the outside? It could all be in the shape of a big worm. <laughs> Big like a big worm. wiggly worm, <laughs> yeah. Because because that's what they put on the end of fishing lines. Because I bet I bet they're really scared of worms. Because if ever, if ever they see a worm, they know it's on the end of a fishing rod. Because worms aren't generally, you know, they don't live unless it's like a sea worm. <laughs> sea but, worm. Should, should we do like a big wiggly worm? <gasps> Let's do a big wiggly worm. Um, oh, go on, go yeah. on. Sco- I, I can hear your non-committal, but I, I'm I'm set on this. Are you are you going? I'm not for backing it? down. There's, there's no change I'm, in your I'm mind. I'm not backing down. I, I'm, well, I, like, I don't want to like just say I'm taking control because I know you're the boss, but like I'm gonna I'm gonna argue this point to the end that I want to build this a big w- w- wiggly worm ghost train. An insight into Stumpy's brain. So his nightmare <laughs> is a wiggly worm. That's what it is. It's nothing to do. No, with, no, no. I'm, I'm not. No, don't, don't and, I'm not that self-centered. I'm thinking from the fish's perspective. I think. Will someone please think of the fish? <laughs> someone think of the fish here. I think we should jump in the water and do a bit of role play, and um, okay, just just act like fish for a bit and kind yeah. of see what. I think we need to get us. into the character of fish. Okay, right. Okay, let, let, let's go do that. So, um, tell you what, why don't we Ooh, do like Finding Nemo? Why don't sharks and mines and stuff? Mines? Yeah, you know, like sea mines. Okay. So, well, we can figure. So, let's do a list. So, what? What? what let's do. Okay, let's, let's be fish. So, what? What am mm-hmm. I scared of right now? Blum. I'm scared of you because squid eat fish. Blum. So, you could. You could be in it. Drowning. We need to get you. I'm and scared everything. of drowning. <laughs> You're a fish. That's <laughs> the one thing that. You know, maybe they go on the surface. Then maybe there's like a beach. They get washed up. Yeah. Ooh. I think we should have a squid in it. I think we could have. We could have your auntie in it. <laughs> we could have. Okay. She's pretty scary. If I was a fish, because she she loves eating fish. Um, we can have a fisherman. <laughs> Maybe have like a, a fishing boat or like a fishing rod. Let's um, what, do what else? a dream of all scary things. So it could be stuff from like, like you said, like everything, like fishermen. We can do like mines. We can do like sharks. We do, it doesn't have to be one setting. I reckon we should just do like a dream. So maybe we go inside like a big fish bed and then like you enter and then like you dream about stuff. And then that's the ghost train ride. Okay. But it is going to be in a big worm though. Yeah. Just to, yes, just to make sure we're clear on this. It can be in a it big will... worm. Okay, so what we what we could do is if we do it over here, so it's quite a nice flat area. So the end of the worm could be here. So when once again when you exit it, you just kind of like this is the um, the the not the front end of the worm, if you know what I mean. So you this is where you come here. out. <laughs> well, so this is this is where the worm can end. So this is where you come out of. Okay. Okay. Just so like think of like a, a really weird mouth? tunnel of love. No, well, th- no, this is the this is what I was saying. This isn't the mouth end of the worm. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> so that, we would, well, I think you should go in the mouth. I think so. Yeah, You're eaten think, by a worm. That, yeah, that's a okay. nightmare in itself. And then look, if we do this, then we can have like these bits as the little like ring bits, you see. Okay. Like this. Okay. And then they go, I, I don't know. I don't have much of this pink wall. So can we're we make to, it to bigger? Because we're not going to get much through here, are we? Um, yeah, we, we we should. I'm I'm just I'm just concepting. I'm just brainstorming. I'm just throwing things on the table and see see if seen if they if they if they stick. You see yeah. at the moment. Well, I oh. like it. We'll go with the the worm. Okay, we we're, we're all we're all set on on idea how about, worm. So yeah. How about how about how about how about as well if um when the worm's done, we could do like a big massive guy with a fishing rod and then the like hooks in the worm's mouth. So like. It looks oh, like- that could be at the front of it. Yeah, yeah. we do like a big fishing rod. I like it. What we could do is do a big fishing rod, and it could be a fishing rod, but it's like he's called Rod. That's his name, and he's got like eyes and stuff. He's Rod the fishing rod. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna. Right. There we go. There's there's our project there's for the, the concept. Uh, <laughs> the next few episodes. So tell you what, what we do. Well, that's have a we have pretty much run out of time here. Here we go. Wait a minute. Is, um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rod. Are you going to mark it? Rod the rod. rod the, yeah, because because we'll forget otherwise. So the plan is, so in between this episode and next episode, we're going to dye all of our our sheep pink, and then we can go and do. Oh, see, look, the ghosts. See, the ghosts are already here, leaving the chest open. Yeah, we're going to dye all the 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 pink sheep, uh, the sheep pink even, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, yeah, we're going to get as much wool as we can, we and uh, yeah, then we can uh, flatten out this area and begin work on worm ghost train, Woo-hoo! fishy ghost train. 
Rod the Rod Ghost Train Bad Things in Worm. I couldn't have said it better myself, Squid. <laughs> Brainstorm in <laughs> its finest. The metaphorical pig has now gone on top of the, the tiki bar. We're going to end the episode inside of the, the party room. Uh, but yeah, that is the... Oh, there's, there's still a few animals in here partying. Oh, yeah, but that is the, the end of uh, this episode here otherwise. So the last thing to do, apart from jumping around, is to thank you all very much for watching. And we will see you all later. Bye! Bye!